and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Orzhov Kaya Doom in Best of One. We've been trying some Orzhov Doom Foretold decks the last couple of days. This one is not going with the combo of um, Command the Dread Horde and the Wanderer at the top end. Instead, we are really trying to fight <laughs> the Cauldron Familiar decks, as you can probably tell what we have here. But we have Kaya Orzhov Usurper and Ashiok combo. We have this combo of cards where Ashiok can exile a lot of cards from our opponent's library, you know, exile the cards in their graveyard, get a lot of cards in their exile, and then Kaya's minus five, deal damage to them equal to the number of cards they own in exile. So we can try to get 20 cards in there, minus five, do 20. But, you know, like we still have just a good Orzhov control list. You know, we got uh, the Doom Foretold with our eggs, of course. Um, we have main deck Leyline of the Voids because this is best of one. I'm not, I'm not convinced at all in this Leyline of the Void. <clears throat> but at least, at the very least, what it can do for you is it going to be a permanent to sacrifice to Doom Foretold. So at the very, very least, it won't be completely dead because we can just sack it to Doom Foretold. Um, we also have a bunch of Crowther Carnariums. Get that Exile on. I like that. Um, a couple Elder Spells because there are just like, you know, some Planeswalkers running around. Uh, this this could maybe be Murderous Rider. I think that could be in uh, a better use than Elder Spell. But one another thing about Elder Spell is even if our opponent's not playing Planeswalkers, it's kind of difficult to get to this Kaya minus five. And so if we have Ashiok in play and we have and we, you know, we get we get like 20 cards in their exile, then for five mana we can just drop Kaya, Elder Spell away our Ashiok to add two loyalty to, to Kaya, and then minus five immediately. So it's kind of like a combo card there. Um the other cool thing that uh that this deck has that I actually kind of, I actually like this is we got Foulmire Knights for the early blocker. You know, like basically this is just going to be like our blocker against all the aggro decks. You know, like their Knight of the Ebon Legion, their Rotting Reg. So you know we get that one one Death Touch out there. But then it also gives us a little bit of card advantage. You know, being able to use the Profane Insight to draw a card, lose a life, and then put down a blocker. I like it. I think that this is a, a pretty nice little touch to the deck. Um, but yeah, so that, that's what our deck's about. We got a bond too. If we go to like a really late game, that we can sacrifice extra lands. We can sacrifice Leyline of the Void, extra eggs and stuff like that, and draw cards because we're putting the extra permanents out there. Um, and then of course Liliana, you know, the, obviously Liliana does a whole lot of stuff for us. So I kind of wish we had like two cards that I wish we had were Murderous Rider and Oath of Kaya. I think we're kind of missing those two cards. Um, but but besides besides that. Uh, um, you know, that, that kind of fits in like our Leyline of the Void and Elder Spell and Foulmire Knights and all, and you know, all three copies of the Crowther Canarium. But I could definitely see this, this working out well. So let's go play some best of one. Let's, let's try it out. It's always good to try out different copies of cards also. Uh, we are going to go ahead and play, just go ahead and take this to rank. Uh, let's see, standard ranked. Because then we can play, you know, either seven or nine games. That's why I like to do with the best of one, play either seven or nine games, depending on how long they take. Um, with it being a donation deck here, I'd like to play nine, but we'll see if, if they... Our deck is pretty slow, so if we play long games, we'll, we'll just play seven. Ooh, shocking in Breeding Pool right away. Lead with the Temple. So we can just have Golden Egg on turn two. No, I don't think I'd really consider putting in Kaya's Ghost Form into the deck, to be honest. That's a good one. Because now we get to cast the Profane Insight on this turn. And yeah, we're back in you know, Platinum or whatever because the the new month. Haven't played a ton of ranked. Yet. The Flash deck is really where we're going to miss. Yeah, we really miss having Murderous Rider here in this matchup. 
Because it is risky just throwing down Doom Foretold. Yeah, that, that's this is certainly where we would love to have Murderous Rider to kill that Ambusher at end step. Of course, Panda, of course. Whenever, just whenever, whenever I get to it, yeah, you just let me know what, what you want to change. Of course, even if Murderous Rider was in our deck, it doesn't mean that we were going to just have it in our hand. Yeah, you said that Flash is your hardest matchup. Can certainly see that. And their hand, their hand's good, you know. Am ambusher with counter magic. It's tough to deal with. We just, we don't, we ha we have no targeted removal for ambusher, and therefore, I don't think we can really beat an ambusher ever. So my only my only chance of winning this is them not having them not having another counter spell. They don't have another counter spell. We can cry away the rest of the board and then uh, Doom foretold make them sack ambusher. So we still have a shot. We also had to have them not have another ambusher. Which they did not. So yeah, if they had all lands in hand, we'd have a, a shot, basically. Alright, good job. Leyline is just going to be something to sacrifice to Doom foretold. Behold. I return where you slumber. Darn. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter what, which order I would have done those other ones in. We did. We need need both cry and Doom Told to resolve. So it didn't matter what or, what order I did. Hmm. 
No, we don't win with Kaya ult only. We have Ashiok is probably gonna like we're probably gonna win more games with Ashiok than anything else. The Ashiok getting rid of their their library. That's honestly probably gonna be the way that we win the most of our games. But Kaya ult is also another route. Liliana and Bantu. Like Bantu can end games quickly. Liliana can as well. And you can also just kill people with the Doom Foretold Knight Tokens and Foulmire Knights. Especially the, the Knight Tokens. We don't this deck doesn't just have one way to win. Okay, J Jack, what you creating? Inventions. was my worst case scenario with playing Foulmire Knight. Why is this called Inventions? I guess I don't get it. Yeah, we are going to have, in 12 days, Invo, we're going to have a brand new set that's going to release. So do I want to get the Leyline down or Ashiok down? I like how they're, they're not attacking Ashiok right now. Well, that was not a good idea for them. <clears throat> Ashiok's passive. You can't search your library. Kind of had to crack that Fable Passage first. <laughs> Got team. <laughs> Oops. All right, looks good. Yeah, the the two Ds mean they're it's a donation deck, which means that it was a viewer donated to see the deck in in play, and so that usually means decks I don't make. I feel like awesome, Jason. Glad yeah, glad you're liking the mono black discard deck. Yeah, I, I really like that deck too. So cool. We have a very good Doom Foretold hand with Triple Egg. Uh, 
I didn't really have any more plans to, Kendis, but you're right. I probably should, shouldn't I? With the standard shakeup event ending tomorrow. Passes are tough. Passes are tough. With thoughtfulness before action. Oops. They're not casting that time wipe anytime soon with it being double white, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't want to admit how many times I've oopsed because of passives. Yeah, I have a lot as well. Everybody has. One Doom Patrol gone. Kind of looks like my life would have been better if I would have Elder Spelled the Narset right away. Sure looks like they got a Dovin's Veto. All right, well, we have a lot of cards that don't really do anything. Don't think Leyline does anything. Kaya's Wrath doesn't do anything. The Kaya at least threatens the ultimate. But, like, the plus and the minus don't do anything. I know my responsibility. I am not making this up as I go. So obviously the Doom Foretold is the best card in my hand. But I really think they have a Dovin's Veto. So I want to try to get the Dovin's Veto out of their hand. Time for plan B. The this question is, do you think Esper Control will be good with Kaya and, and Ashiok? I mean, it really depends on you know, like what the threats are in the format and, and how how it uh, like their answers line up. Um, Esper has awesome, like really good removal spells though, and so I think so. That really, it's not even about it's not about Ashiok. What the thing that Esper gets that's going to make it good is getting the blue white temple and the blue black temple. They've really missed not having those temples, especially. You know, especially them being the blue ones. I 
that has been like the mana base is really what's been holding back Esper more than anything else. Well, I guess mana base and ways to end games really well. Nashiok does help with that. So yes, I think I think Esper is gonna be is only gonna be better. Yeah, blue decks love Scrylands. Mort fairies. I don't really know why I didn't attack. Like, trading Falmire Knight for Elite Guard Mage is a good trade for me. Especially them holding a time wipe to pick that back up. Uh, these Leyline of the Voids are dead. I should just sack Teferi. Uh, yeah, counter it, counter it, counter it. I'd love to trade this with a spell. Please counter this. No, that's so much worse for me. Uh... I wish I could just discard these Ley Lines so they would just be out of my hand for Castle. They're just worse than... <laughs> it's like they're not only dead draws, like we not only like mulligan by having them in our hand, but it's even just worse just having it in our hand because the Castle is... Uh, it's, uh, it's so bad. Like, can I just discard my hand? Can you just Thought Erasure me three more times? They're honestly just gonna kill me just being in my hand. I don't get to I won't let you win. Dig 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 dig. Like we might we might as well be drawing like like some baseball rookie card in our hand here. 
it's the exact same thing. Like it can't. It. It's like it's so hard for it to leave our hand. <laughs> yeah, a Mickey Mantle rookie card. It's like, how are you casting a Mickey Mantle rookie card? Where it's like, well, we're not, but it's in our hand. Stop that now. Yeah, like just Murderous Rider, Othakaya. Those are cards. The two cards it seems like we should be playing. Opponent plays so slow. Come on, opponent. Thank you. So I'm just Kai's Wrathing so they don't get to pick up their uh, guard mage again with the time wipe. I've got time. No, th this deck isn't really that greedy. I mean, uh, I don't know if I'd call ley lines greedy. That's not really what greedy means. in magic terms. Usually greedy is like stuff that's difficult to cast because your mana is bad or you know difficult to cast because of very high curve. It means things that are difficult to cast or difficult to pull off. Leyline's very, very good against Cauldron Familiar. It's very good against one one card in the entire format. Unfortunately, there's nothing else that it's really good against. But it's very good against one card in the entire format. Which doesn't really seem like we should be playing three of them because of that. Good against a okay, yeah. It is good against Dance of the Mance. Alright, so there's a second card that's good against, but you already have Ashiox there. But yeah, that's that's a second card that's good against in the format. They also the dance decks though like play to fairies and they dance like is like a really late card where they, they just have all their eggs out in play. It's actually really not even that good against dance, honestly. It's not like they have stuff that goes in all the time. Like they just can just Pile up the eggs, wait till they have to ferry, bounce your ley line, and, and then sack all like, the eggs and then bring them back in one turn. That's more like it. All right, just getting one of these out of my hand. Okay. 
He has a death cap for QD. Trust me, I have a plan. All right, we finally got them out of our hand. Now we can finally start using castle. <clears throat> Leyline does prevent triggers whenever anything dies. Yeah, so Cavaliers would not trigger. My like Green Cavalier, and any Cavalier would not trigger with the die trigger. Because they do not die, they go to exile. Might be a bad idea. So, uh, Midnight Reaper, you know, like Midnight Reaper draws extra cards. That wouldn't happen anymore. So I guess it's good against Midnight Reaper. Uh, absolutely no idea, Fatty Matty. I don't. It's way too early to tell. How many times are we gonna do that? Yeah, it's. Much, much too early to know what's going to be top contenders for next format. That's that's something you don't really know until, like, a week into a format, like, when you start playing with the cards. I am not sure that Esper will be a top deck. While the mana gets gets better, it's still not not great mana. And there's a lot of card advantage and a lot of good anti control tools in the format. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely play Mono Black Control with the new set. I, I really like Dread Presence, as you know, I've, I've played a lot of Dread Presence decks. I'm known for my excellent timing. Let's try this. Why would they thought erasure right now? Why don't they thought erasure during draw stuff? It's like the whole point of having to ferry. Like, what are you the doing? The the opponent, the sweeter the victory. Like, they're still gonna take the doom foretold. They just take it during draw stuff. Yeah, this is best of one. Opponent plays pretty slow. Oh, 
Thanks, Mink. Don't worry. I got this. <laughs> Am I? I'll be back. Just you. They had that Doven's veto on top of the Citadel. Yeah. Foulmire Knights is a good is a very good blocker, and also can be card advantage too. You know, it's a longer game; you can replace itself if you need it. Turn one to get rid of, you know, to be able to block a, you know, Knight of the Ebon Legion or anything like that. You can do that too. Here goes nothing. Of course, Ashiok is the card that I want to draw the most. Yeah, Mank, you should go now. That does not sound good. Business to attend to anyway. Could potentially draw a lot of cards. Yeah, I get used out of the ley line. I guess I'll keep one ley line because Bantu is definitely going to die. Like, they're going to kill Bantu, and I'm going to be redrawing Bantu. So, might as well keep another ley line for now. To get more cards over in exile. They're down to 24 cards left. I'm at 22 cards left. Don't worry. I got this. I 
Yeah, we have a lot of win cons. My, my best draws are Ashiox. We have three Ashiox. We haven't drawn any of the three Ashiox yet in the 38 cards. <clears throat> Ashiox are my best draws. Very good. I heard you said you be. I'll be back. Just you wait. Okay, and getting cards out of our hand is good because of castle. Uh, we can't go to too low. Like, we have to worry about our life total a little bit because of Othakaya and, you know, like the, their ability to be bouncing Othakaya and stuff like that. I don't know why they didn't. Why don't you bounce the other Othakaya instead of just getting it exiled? How did you do that? I know eighty-eight ways to defeat you. Pick one. Well, that other Narset's obviously a problem with my bond too. Finally, their Citadel starts doing stuff. Finally, Citadel does stuff. So it looks like that's going to be it for us. Unless we have a really great card on top. I don't get to draw a second card because of Narset. And we know our second card is a Bantu. Hmm. And they get to counter anything. No, I am not making this up as I go. So yeah, I don't I don't know how we get out of this. I don't know if they realize that Teferi has a minus. I feel like we probably could have been dead. Our opponent was just bouncing their Othakayas and killing me with Othakayas, and they would have been able to get a lot farther into their library and done this a lot earlier. But they're still going to win, so they're good. It's all good for them. I'll be back. I'll be back. Kaya only had four loyalty because of the Oath of Kaya, so I was not able to... Uh, not able to minus five. Um, it would have been lethal. They, they have 19 cards in exile now. had too many dead cards. Kaya didn't actually ever do anything. Oh. 
I guess I I need to sack the ley line. Uh, we we played that guild globe afterwards, but I guess I need to sack the the ley line, the golden egg. Get a little di little bit deeper. That's all I wanted to do. That would have been cool. Uh, they let it resolve. I sacrifice everything, to, and then you know, Nars. I don't get to draw any cards because of Narset, but I get to sacrifice my whole battlefield. Ashiox, where were you? Down the bottom, 19 cards. All three of our Ashiox. Which, you know, like, they have seven cards in library. You know, if we could have found some Ashiox earlier. Yeah. And then, then uh, Kaya ult would have actually done stuff. We may not be dead. They have to attack us. My opponent hasn't... Hasn't really shown that they know how to win games yet. Probably they've been playing. Possible they attack Ashiok. And then I draw a Wrath. Alright, Leyline of the Void, we get you in the opening hand. And we have Kaya. If you're still not good here, you'll never be good. No, I don't change decks. Oh, change the decks? Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah, I'll change the decks, yeah. Yeah, change some cards in the deck, if that's what you mean, okay. Well, if they have the 1-3, the we're going to be in trouble. Leyline definitely makes Kaya worse, though. Because, you know, we don't get to kill their creatures and then tick up and gain life, because the creatures aren't in the graveyard. So it does make Kaya worse. <laughs> so I guess that's all this card's doing, is just making our Kaya even worse. I guess it, it makes Kaya better with the ultimate, though. 
just makes it harder for us to gain life. Oh man, this is just a, a slow Saturday afternoon, isn't it? Hey, Warheart, Happy New Year. Just a casual weekend stroll. Land drop would be pretty nice for us to be able to Doom Foretold. Uh, we're going down to two. Vanished. Funny, that's what I do. Okay, we are going to uh, we're going to take Leyline of the Void out of the deck. It is just really just a waste of a card. And we're going to get a much better card, Oath of Kaya, into the deck. All right, we're going to uh, just cut those. Othakaya helps gain life if they want to attack your Planeswalkers also. It's just going to be a much better card. Could still use like some, some Murderous Rider... Uh, you know, maybe we need to be splitting up like the Othakayas and Elder Spells and Firemont, Firemont, Foulmire Knights, get a couple Murderous Rider for some instant speed interaction. Um... At least getting a card that has some text on it. Some good text, too. All 
there. There goes a lot of quenches. So they're down three quench, a frilled mystic, and a dispute. No, <clears throat> no ambusher or Nissa yet. All right, another counter spell. I think I want the extra card with the Foul Mire Knight. I don't think we need to play it right away. Um, is it crazy to Kaiser at this? All right, I don't get the Paradise Druid out of the graveyard, but that's okay. I want to get a little bit more information. I'm lost So we got rid of no ambushers and no nissas. A whole lot of lands. I think like about 12 lands. Only one frilled mystic. So only one of like the, the 12 super impactful cards. Yeah, only one of their mythics. <clears throat> Cards I'd rather be exiling. Yeah, I I mean I do I don't like some of them are donation decks though, Skiron. I don't I don't build those, but yeah, I build yeah, I build a, the other decks I play. Well, Othakaya was miles worse than Murderous Rider. You know, Murderous Rider is kind of what we needed here.
was hoping they were going to be drawing those uh, those fabled passages when we had Ashiok. I didn't fix the the flash flash matchup. The person in Danny said that flash was their worst worst matchup. I did not fix that by putting in Othakaya instead of Murderous Rider. But still, I don't think that like Murderous Rider doesn't really fix it. They could be like they they could be scared of like land Kaya's wrath. No. Yeah, Flash is really, really good against a deck with a bunch of sorcery speed spells. Absolutely. I mean, that's this is just it's just the dream matchup for them. Kaya, honestly, in all these games, Kaya's never really done anything. I guess against the red deck, we got to exile something. It's like one time we got to do something with Kaya. But that's kind of the problem with our deck. I mean, it, our deck looks really good against Jun Sacrifice, but you don't see very much Jun Sacrifice in best of one, as you can see with this being our... Uh, sixth match and us not playing against it at all. But with, you know, playing Ley Lines and Kaya's. Darn, four lands and Fable Passage. I want them to draw Fable Passage. Yeah. Fable Passage for the win. Sometime soon, screen. Sometime soon.
All right, then maybe they play like, you know, a couple of Cavaliers here. We wrath them, then make them sack the Fires of Invention. Yeah, Fae of Wishes is amazing and best of one. I think it makes sense to play a couple of Fae of Wishes. Makes a lot of sense. It's just so strong and best of one. And of course with Fires of Invention. So it's unfortunate they're probably going to be able to grab something that's going to, yep, destroy the Doom Foretold. If they can't do damage to the Kaya, Kaya's threatening lethal pretty soon. I assume they have a way to get rid of Kaya. In their sideboard. So I didn't really see any of like the fight the cavaliers or anything here. Yeah, no no cavaliers whatsoever. Three Clarions. Three Teferi. Oh, there's a there's a Cavalier. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. We were close. Yeah, I know. We did just mill him towards the Cavaliers. That's true. What do they want to do with Fae of Wishes? Probably something's going to kill me. Um, Chandra is definitely a possibility. I do want to empty my hand. Maybe instead of... I played the egg first, but maybe instead of playing the egg with the five mana, I could have had Othakaya deal three damage and then Crowd Carnarium to do the others. What they gonna get? Could be command the dread horde, I guess. If they're looking at my graveyard, could just grab my Kaya and my Ashiok. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense too. I don't necessarily want to kill the 2 2 and give them an extra card. I 
want to draw more Ashioks. Wish we had more Ashiok. I do think that Murderous Rider. This Bantu's been pretty sweet, though, with all this stuff. <clears throat> it does feel like we're really missing Murderous Rider. I want to kill this 2 2. Yeah, if I would have held Elder Spell for Kaya, I could have had a one turn kill, but there's just no guarantee that I'm drawing a Kaya, and that end it is. Pretty guaranteed that that Ugin was going to kill me. I do have another Elder Spell in here. Oh, I played the wrong thing! No, I meant to play Othakaya first. Because I don't want to give them this card and then Othakaya the thing, so then they have three cards to discard. Oh, I meant to play the Othakaya first. In my plan, I was going to Othakaya put three damage on the Fae of Wishes first, and then cast Cry of the Carnarium. And then, you know, then they have to discard those two cards to save Fae of Wishes. They don't have three cards to choose from, but now they have three cards to choose from. All right, well, it seemed pretty easy to just get rid of these two cards anyway, though, so... Yeah, at that point I should have just yeah, you're right. You're right. My I mean that's that's the reason why I wanted to oath first and then and then cry. But at that point since I cried already, I should have just uh readjusted my situation and just cast another another cry of the Cronarium. And yeah, save the oath to be able to gain 3 life and do damage upstairs and everything. Do damage to a planeswalker that minuses. Yeah, I should have readjusted. Um, I don't really have any plans to, to play the Magic MMO. Not not saying that I, I won't, but I just don't really have any plans to right now.
Minko Bolas is kind of good for me. Can exile these Cryo Canariums. <clears throat> Playing Kaya doesn't do that much for me. Like, you know, it gives them the opportunity to kill Kaya. I think I need to see if we can find the Elder Spell and one shot with Kaya. Once again. I'm not sure though. Makes it less painful to activate Castle now. draw. I hope they scry to the top. One of the top. There we go. That's a good Ashiok. Yeah, get rid of that Kenrith, Cavalier, Sphinx. That was good. Down to 22 cards. But Cavalier Flame does a lot of damage. That's lethal. Well, we are close. Play one more. Hopefully, hopefully get the win. You know, hopefully finish two five. Basic Mountain. Bad Ferret. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for subbing on Twitch Prime. I appreciate that. I'll get some hype for our new sub. Our third of the day. All right, let's get that thing out of here. I think that card is strong enough to um, I think that card is strong enough to to get Crowther Canariumed. Discard an Embercleave. It's okay, Starman, don't worry about it. It happens. Yeah, 
And we're dead. Shock drill bit. Probably gonna kill us here. Yep. I faced undead. <laughs> I'm gonna make Could exile my Falmire Knight to gain a life. I don't want to crack the golden egg right now because we may need the golden egg to fix mana for Kaya's Wrath. Like if we draw a swamp. Huh. Okay. Well, now I had to hold the egg up if, in case they had another uh, one of those flash creatures, another paragon. All right, we gotta draw white mana. Or Falmire Knight. Alright, still in it. This only saves... You know, like, so that saves us... It's like, we would have gained 5 life if I ultimate. By not ultimating, we gain 2, so we, we lose 2 life. But next turn, you know, we get to gain another 2 life... With the plus, or I could just I could just do Ashiok minus and then ultimate next turn. Uh, why would what? Night. All right, we did it, Ashiok. Got to do something. I'm definitely ultimating and and not d making sure that I don't die. And we'll just play a new Kaya. No, we'll we'll keep Castle Iron Veil up, actually. So new Kaya would let's see, take up to four, save me two turns. No, I think I'll just do Castle Iron Veil. So I'm kind of worried this is a Black Lance Paragon. Okay, it wasn't. Uh oh. Yay. I leave you with this has been a nightmare. Was that dear to you? Now it's dear to you. I can just sack the Ashiok on my turn. It was Paragon. It felt like they had Paragon in hand. I could sack the Kaya. Might as well do that. I heard you have packed your bag. I won't forget this. Gain some more life. Your oh, right. Elder Spell. <laughs> uh, I just forgot about the Elder Spell. I just forgot about that being in my hand. I was talking. Yep. 
Could have had the cool the cool lethal combo. With Elder Spelling, Ashiok, and then Lethal. Yeah, for like the last many turns. Could have done that for a while. Basically since since the turn after I played Ashiok and Ultimate Kaya to stay alive. Okay. So we went two and five. Um, definitely was better getting the ley lines out of there and playing Othakaya instead. I still think this deck needs murderous riders. I have to say I was really impressed with the one bond two. Honestly, like the Foulmire Knight was like pretty cool, but honestly, murderous rider is just going to be better than Foulmire Knight two. That's probably like where you just play murderous rider. Because, like, as far as, like, Foulmire Knight being card advantage, like, the Murderous Rider just being a 2-3 also is really nice. I liked I liked the idea of the Foulmire Knight. Wanted to try it out. But, honestly, we were really, really missing Murderous Riders. You know, missing that instant speed interaction. Um, you got to have it. You know, you got to kill, like, the Cavaliers at instant speed. Got to kill Nightpack Ambusher at instant speed and you know planeswalkers all that kind of stuff you can still play it as a two three lifelinker also against aggro decks we need these murderous riders thank you panda um yeah uh i don't i don't hate the three cry of the carnarium um yeah basically i don't hate them uh they weren't spectacular for us but they were okay they they were fine i I think having like Golden Egg Guild Globe, you want a lot of sweepers because while you're playing Golden Egg Guild Globe, your opponent is advancing their board. Um, and then, of course, sweepers work really well with Doom Foretold. They work good at, at clearing the battlefield for like your Kaya and Ashiok that don't, uh, like Kaya and Ashiok don't affect the battlefield too much either, besides Kaya's minus sometimes does. So playing a lot of sweepers is good. And so I, I like having seven sweepers. Um, and of course, Cry of the Canarium is, is like the one of the best things against Cauldron Familiar, but. You know, we do have Kaya. Like, you may not need three Cry of the Cornariums. Like, you could have a Realm Cloak Giant. And I, I think I would want Realm Cloak Giant over Ritual of Soot. Be able to kill everything. And also just play a 7 7. You know, like, get, you know, sometimes you just want to play a 7 7. I could definitely see that too. Play one of those. Because sometimes you got to kill everything. Even, so like, basically playing Murderous Riders and Realm Cloak Giant should help you out a lot more against the, against the Nightpack Ambushers. You know, like, now you actually have things that kill at instant speed, plus you have another Wrath to try to resolve. Um... So that, that should help us out. Yeah. All right. So there we go. There's Orzhov, Kaya Doom. Um, didn't do super well, but I think, I think we needed to kind of retool our removal suite a little bit there. <clears throat> all right so those of y'all watching on youtube uh hit that like button over there and leave the comments hope you do both of those but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video